Just a few days ago, someone came and asked me about the mind again, and you know, still the mind keeps coming, and you know, my attention just goes, and I don't know what to do, and so. So, my advice is this: when in the, in the midst of a mind storm, the midst of mind storm or a mind attack, you may say, and we all know it. We all know it what it what it feels like. And the sense of, oh, I want to stop my mind. Oh, please can you show me how to stop this mind. What to do? And I said, okay. Uh, don't try to stop mind. Next time it come, a brain storm or a mind storm come. Be very clear hmm, as to discern, isolate, recognize what is the storm. The movement, mind, and the energetic quality about it. Recognize that, but also as being different from the space in which it appears, which I call consciousness. You may call it also the mm, the, in, the formless weakness, but the weakness is not an entity; it's more just a witnessing. Okay. So that's the first thing to recognize and to see, discern the difference between the, the noise and the space in which it comes. Because the noise will come, it will play and it will go, but the space will not move. And that space is a space of awareness. You see? And that's very, very, very important. Now you may say, but still, it's still oh, it's so strong. Next point. The one who is suffering the mind storm and the storm, they are connected. It's like two sides of one coin. Okay? This is very important. The one who is suffering it, the mistake has been, it's me. Oh, please help me. But this me and the mind storm have a relationship, they are connected. Without the me who is reporting about this storm, there is no storm to worry about. Nobody will know if there is a strong wind, if there is nothing for it to, to, to push against. The wind is blowing. And how you know? You cannot see the wind, but you can see the effect of the wind, because the trees are bending. This bending one is the person. So include the person who is suffering from the mind storm as part of the storm. And the witness of that, or the witnessing of this, is quite impartial. It's like the space, the intelligent space, which was there before the storm. It is there during the storm, and it is there after the storm is gone. This space, I'm calling it yourself. I'm calling it yourself. If this is you, and I'm going to show you why I say it is you, before the storm came, you were there or not? Yes, you are here. When the storm comes, you feel, Oh, what am I? I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah? You know also you are watching this. Then when the storm oh, it's gone. Where is the person? It's also gone, the one suffering it. You see? Now, if you were any of that, then when the storm is gone, you would also be gone. But look, you are here to say, it is gone. Even to say, ah, oh, it is gone. Don't identify with anyone who says, ah, oh, this is gone. As though that is the one who's, who it happened to. No, the storm and the one suffering it is gone. What remains is the pure space of awareness. Be very clear about this, because sometimes there's some residual, some residual identity stays back to say, "Ah, it's gone. Thank you." And that's how you, he gives himself away. He says, "Oh, he's the one who I'm so happy that he's gone." So if he stays, he's already making a date with another storm. OK? So just take this attitude. You are the witness only of them. They come and they go. And watch what is going to happen now. Or rather, watch what's not going to happen, because uh, it will come. Sometimes uh, the storm doesn't announce, "I'm coming." 
I'm coming, put on your anti-storm clothes. It's not going to say that. It just comes, and suddenly, like a reflex, you, you find identity, identity comes immediately when the storm comes. Or soon after, sometimes something is feeling. And as soon as something names it, oh, this is not good, this is a storm, the identity is born, and a few of them are there like this. And you forget that you are watching, because you take the role of the one who suffers it. Please ponder on this over and over and over again. Look forward to your next mind attack, bearing in mind what is being shared now. Look forward to your next mind attack. Say, mind, please come. I'm waiting for you. And see when it will come. It will not come. It will come like an ambush when you are not ready. But remember also, the Self is neither ready nor not ready. It's just ever-present. This is the goal of mm, authentic spiritual um, mm, realization, self-realization. Okay. Thank you.